at you with another video. So today I am going to be experimenting with my new Palmer's products and also with some Cream of Nature products. So if you watched my last video, I talked about the Palmer products and how much I really like them. And I told you that I used the Moisture Repair Curl Cream on my hair and I also told you that I liked using this because um, it leaves my hair very moisturized, but I use it as a moisturizer or moisturizing leave-in rather, um, rather than a rinse out conditioner. So I did a trial run experiment of a flat twist. This will be my first flat twist in about six years, five, no, my first flat twist in about five years. I've only had one successful flat twist out in my life and that was a success but it was like it was okay you know so I tried it on this side I love the results turned out very nice I love it and what I used was this um, moisture repair curl um, conditioner from Palmer's now this is meant for a uh, deep condition and rinse out but I use it as a leave-in but I also used it as my style this time but I used it on um, an old wash and go so I already had lots of other products on it so I don't like the way my hair is feeling it's feeling kind of um, coated a little bit but it's probably because I have a whole bunch of other stuff on my hair but my hair is super duper soft it has great definition I didn't add any gel or anything well mainly because I already had gel on here so I decided that I am gonna try this again without any other products on it you know on freshly washed hair so but yeah the definition is crazy and of course it shine. I didn't add any more oils or anything to it because I had already had a whole bunch of other stuff on my hair. I also used it on this side to do a couple of just a regular twist. And then I used it on one little bitty section somewhere back here um, as a leave-in um, under, you know, underneath. And I did add some gel to this little section just to see. Um, what it will do, this light is really making this color in my hair look harsh. It really is not this harsh. It's more of a maroon and a red color. But anyway, yeah, I used it back here with some gel. And, um, I don't know. I'm going to see. So, let me just take everything out of my hair and then reapply fresh. So I'm also going to use the Cream of Nature um, Sulfate Free Moisture and Shine Shampoo um, since I have so much build up kind of on my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and wet my hair and I'll come back and show you how this performs um, on camera. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back and I um, rinsed my hair. And this is how my hair looks since the color you can see the definition in it okay so we're going to start off with the shampoo and hmm it's a thick and rich consistency smells really good. It, it, it's thick like honey. So let me put a little bit and definitely a little goes a long way. As you can see it has nice suds. I don't, let me see. I don't think I need to add any, maybe a little bit in the back. Just a little. A very little. I'm 
course I'm focusing more on my scalp than the actual hair. Now unlike the Kiwi shampoo, this shampoo does not have enough slip for you to detangle. I do see color coming off with the shampoo. Not a lot. Not a lot. But there is some color. And remember I told you in the last video that this is is this the one? Sulfate free moisture shine. Hydrates and detangles. This must not be the one that's color safe. Oh no. That was the um co-wash but yeah all right so my hair does feel like it's getting very clean it doesn't feel super stripped but I can tell that product has been stripped from my hair I don't know if you can see color on my hands Okay, I'm going to go rinse it out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I rinsed out um, the shampoo. The shampoo really did a great job at cleansing my hair. I did not get a whole bunch of color runoff. I did get some, but I think that was the remainder of the rinse that I had on my hair because I had a rinse and it, um, the manic panic and then I put a permanent color on top. So the hair runoff or the color runoff was not nearly as much as I would get um, if I used one of my other shampoos like the Perfectly Undone. Um, that shampoo is a sulfate shampoo so yeah it was not nearly as much. Um, my hair feels super clean, super soft and super moisturized and pliable. So this is one of those sulfate shampoos that really literally is a sulfate free shampoo that does not super strip your hair. You know some sulfate shampoos you're like is this a sulfate free shampoo? So, yeah, I like that fact that my hair is not super stripped. It actually feels soft and moisturized and very clean. I love this shampoo. It was $4.99 from my local beauty supply store. And, yeah, moisture, shine, sulfate, free shampoo, hydrates. Now, it says hydrates and detangles. My hair... It's, it's not very tangled, but um, this shampoo does not have a lot of slip, so you can't use this to detangle with. You know, some shampoos have, like the regular um, Kiwi um, Kiwi Citrus shampoo um, does is very moisturizing, just like this one, but it does have that added slip that you can actually um, detangle with that shampoo. And the original also. But yeah, I love this shampoo. So now I'm moving on to my um, deep conditioner, which is the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex. And I did let my hair um, dry. It's damp, almost dry. I like to deep condition on dry hair. So I'll be deep conditioning for about 45 minutes. And then the next time you'll see me, I'll be prepared for styling. Okay, later.
styling my hair so this is my twist flat twist out like I said I have only had one successful twist out in my whole entire six years of being natural and this is I guess kind of one of them I love how it looks in the front and the top I did have a hard time um, getting rid of the parts in the back um, so I think Will I do a flat twist out again? Yeah, because I like the way it looks. It really accentuates my cut, which is growing out already. My gosh. Um, but because my hair is so fine and thin, any tips you guys have on the flat twist out with fine, thin hair, such as mine and short haircuts, let me know. But I think what I will probably do next time is flat twist all of this and then flat twist the very top going diagonal and then just two strand twist the back so I'll turn around and let you see the hair so and then here's a up close look at the uh, the definition so yeah this Shea Palmer Shea Formula Curl Repair Whipped Cream is very nice. My hair has nice definition, but it's very soft. I did not pair this with a gel, but I think the next time I do a flat twist out or a twist out, I will use this and I will pair it with a gel. Um, the nape area, I did use this. It, it did a good job at defining my curls by itself. And then what I did to kind of like lock in that curl definition, which I probably didn't need to, was I paired it with a little bit of my Echo Olive Oil Gel. So, yeah. I guess the Haircut Chronicles are back. So, we're going to be trying different things. At least that's what I say in my mind. I'm so hooked on just the regular twist out and of course the wash and go. But we are good to see. I'm coming out of my comfort zone, stepping out of the box to try new things. Alright you guys, thanks for tuning into this video. Um, stay tuned for pictures. Until the next time, you have an awesome day. Peace out.